On April 13th in 2016, Kobe Bryant played his final NBA game with the Los Angeles Lakers and he went out the way we all thought he would. He shot a lot, he scored a lot, he scored a clutch basket with like a minute or maybe less than a minute to go, put the Lakers in the lead, they won the game and he ended up with 60 points. It was magical. And after the game, he gave a speech to the LA crowd and famously he ended that speech with two words. Mamba out. And fast forward eight years later, on April 13th, 2024, Nike is dropping three pairs of Kobe Bryant signature shoes as part of a Mamba out pack to commemorate that moment. Now, one pair in particular takes inspiration from one of the most well-known places in LA, a place known for its skateboarding culture and artistic atmosphere, very laid back vibe overall. I've never been there, but that's what I've heard. And it's a colorway that really does bring back memories for a lot of people from my generation. Kobe 8 Pro Tro, Venice Beach. This shoe is dropping on April 13th for $190. This is one of three colorways for the Mamba Out pack. The other two shoes dropping on the same day is the Kobe 4 Philly Pro Tro, as well as the Kobe 6 Italian Camo Pro Tro. Both are very nice. I think I'm gonna get the Philly colorway. Not too sure about the Italian Camo. I can't just get everything I want, but that Philly colorway, that is beautiful. Now Pro Tro, if you didn't know, means performance retro. So what it does is it updates the technology and tooling of a shoe to just make it more aligned with modern day basketball shoes. And of course, this was a colorway that originally came out in 2013. Kobe Bryant never wore this pair in game before, but we did see him wear it when he was with the soccer legend, Ronaldinho. And first impressions of the shoe, I remember when I first saw this colorway drop back in the day. There's just so many colors, it was so bold, so loud. Usually I'm not someone that loves such loud colorways, but I think all the colors on the shoe just works really well together. It's kind of like Miami inspired shoes where you have like pink and pastel colors. Usually not my choice, just looking at it in a vacuum, but all together, the combination just looks really nice. And honestly, there's so many nice Kobe colorways. Maybe it's nostalgia getting to me. Maybe this shoe just like freshly released. I wouldn't love it as much, but yeah. Just remembering this shoe dropping, me not being able to get them. Finally having a pair in hand, it's been a long time coming. It's not like my favorite colorway of all time, but nostalgia, that's a powerful thing. And the materials on this upper sole, it is mesh, and obviously a very vibrant color, staying true to theme of Venice Beach. And what we have usually seen from the Pro Tros of the Kobe 8 is that the swoosh on the lateral as well as the medial side of the shoe, that's come embroidered, so kind of got a more elevated look. This one, it sticks true to the original version of the Kobe 8s, so it's just printed. I honestly prefer the embroidered version and you also see this TPU kind of layer for the eyelets on the Pro Tro versions that we've seen lately. It's come stitched as well. This one, again, more true to the original version of the shoe. Now the biggest part where I think most people will prefer the Pro Tro version of the shoe is the tongue. One of the biggest complaints of the Kobe 8 is that this thin tongue really, really can dig into people's ankles, just was not comfortable at all. So for this version of the shoe, they chose to keep the tongue the way it originally was. And I don't like that. You see on the Kobe 8 Pro Tros, they fattened up the tongue, made it more like a typical tongue where it has more padding, it won't dig into your ankles. But this one, it's razor sharp. For people that don't like to wear higher socks, this will definitely dig into your ankles. And another place where it differs from the Pro Tro that we've seen recently in this shoe, again, it is that Mamba logo around Kobe's logo. That snake around it on Pro Tro versions. They got rid of it. I don't really mind either way. I think the snake looks kind of cool, but looks kind of cartoonish. But yeah, they kept it on the shoe. And moving on to the back of the shoe, you'll see this very stable and supportive heel counter, of course, with Kobe Bryant's signature. However, the texture on the heel, like behind the heel counter, that is truer to the original version. Again, recent Kobe 8 Pro Tros, the texture is slightly different. So like on the Kobe 8 Halos, you feel this kind of leather with like the raised dots, maybe to mimic like a snake's scales. This one is just like flat, not quite sure how to describe this material. It's got this kind of like scratch texture to it. So there you go. Now also on the heel, you see this Kobe code. That is not Braille. That's something that Nike developed for Kobe, of course. Kobe being who he is, he needed like a Kobe code. And it reads, Chase Perfection. And while we're down here, another difference between this Pro Tro version of the shoe and like the Kobe 8 Halo, is that you'll see Kobe's logo kind of imprinted all throughout 
over here, you don't see it at all. This again is just closer to the original of the Kobe 8. And in terms of cushioning, it comes with a React foam insert which replaces the Lunalon foam that you see on the original versions of the Kobe 8. React foam is very responsive. It's a lot of people's favorites. It's very comfortable, got kind of like a softer, squishier feel to it. It also is very, very durable. So it's very strong as well, very resilient, and it's one of the best. You'll see it's got this raised texture that can take a little bit of time to get used to because you actually feel it on foot. But in terms of the cushioning, if you like React foam, if you like that kind of more cushy feel to your shoes, you'll probably like this. Personally, I didn't grow up playing in React Foam shoes. I grew up more with like Phylon midsoles, like the 2K4s or the Jordan 14s. I probably prefer that type of feel a little bit more with two zoom air units, just more kind of flatter to the ground, slightly stiffer or harder than like a React Foam. The responsiveness and the resilience is very, very good, but yeah, I do prefer like a stiffer feel, but that's just one person's opinion. I know a lot of people do like the React Foam. And in terms of the outsole, a very, very good outsole, herringbone traction, just perfect traction in my opinion. They also slightly changed the traction of this shoe in the Pro Tro version. So you see the scales on the side, that's actually like a different direction. And the thickness is also slightly increased. Just really good traction on the Kobe 8s. For indoor use, really, really good. And also from here, you can see this carbon fiber midfoot shank plate. Very, very nice carbon fiber. If you didn't know, it's a super, super durable and strong material while also being very lightweight. The Kobe 8 at the time of release, it was actually the lightest Kobe shoe to date and in hand, it just feels like feather. Super light, especially if you're around my generation where they were putting out shoes like the LeBron 4s, those are just like wearing houses on your feet. This is a super light shoe. So I think in terms of like the tech specs and the tooling, more performance driven areas, they did decide to pro throw it. So the traction, the outsole, as well as the React foam inserts, that has changed. Everything else, I think they try to keep their parents more closer to the original version of the Kobe 8. Now this shoe doesn't come with any extra laces, just yellow laces with like speckles of orange. And I can't really think of another color that would go with this shoe. Maybe white just to give it more of like a standard look. But yeah, this shoe is obviously going for something super out there. Can't really just have like white boring laces. So I probably would have put white laces on the shoe. And the box of the shoe, all black, Kobe's logo. If you didn't know, that was inspired by a sword in the sheath and Kobe Bryant's signature at the bottom. And up close, you can see like the scales of a snake. It is textured, very, very nice. Now in terms of sizing and comfort, I'm a size 9.5, true to size. I do have very wide feet for Kobe 8. This is a very slender and narrow silhouette. I still went true to size for the shoe and it fits very, very tight, very snug. However, if I'm playing in a basketball shoe, I do prefer a very snug fit. When I go up half a size in basketball shoes, I feel like the toe box area, lengthwise, just a little bit too much room for my liking. Makes my feet feel like it's kind of sliding. So I went true to size for the shoe, but it is snug. So if you have wide and flat feet, maybe just consider that. If you're wearing it casually, maybe just go up half a size. Honestly, for us wide footers, when it comes to the Kobe 8, I don't think there's a perfect solution. Now, in terms of the overall comfort for casual use, it's a very comfortable shoe. Super light, you can barely feel the weight of this thing. The React foam is very good for comfort, like walking around. Definitely no problems there. In terms of the lockdown and stability of the shoe, I think it's really good. Heel counter as well as that carbon fiber shank plate in the midfoot area, I think that gives you great support and stability. For personal preference, I do prefer more of like an ancient or old school feel to my basketball shoes. Now usually I go through the sole score for a shoe, but most of the shoes that I review are like casual retro shoes. So I don't think the metrics in the sole score really makes sense for a performance driven shoe. So for the Venice Beach, just like the book one hike that I just reviewed recently, no sole score, it just doesn't really make sense. Nike Basketball is obviously making a pretty conscious effort to bring back more Kobe Bryant shoes in 2024. We've seen a bunch of different Kobe 8 Pro Tro colorways that are about to be released later this year. But out of all of them, I'm not sure any of them give me as much nostalgia as this colorway in particular. Not that in a vacuum, I would take this over every other colorway, but I just remember when this first came out, I was not in a position to get them but it was so loud and so different. I just really wanted them and I never thought there would be a day where I'd be holding this shoe in hand and actually reviewing it. Life works in mysterious ways. So that's it. Thanks for watching. So inclined. Let me know what you think of the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Venice Beach. Like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And remember, tomorrow may never come. So wear your shoes.